I feel so much more independent now and I feel like I've really grown up. I got to meet some of the most unforgettable people and I got to see some breathtaking places along the way. Hello, hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Jerry and I recently just finished my very first contract working for Disney Cruise Line. I worked on the Disney Dream for about seven months on board, plus the one month rehearsal period that we had in Toronto. So in total, it was an eight month contract working for DCL. Now, just a quick disclaimer before I go on with the video. I don't speak on behalf of the Walt Disney Company. All thoughts and opinions and experiences are of my own since this is my personal channel where I just wanna keep these memories from this time in my life alive in video form, okay? Okay, and with that out of the way, let's continue where we left off, shall we? I really thought I would have the time and energy to continue making vlogs while I'm working full time on board with no days off. Yeah, obviously that didn't happen. <laughs> what you would have seen last would have been me at the hotel the night before we embarked the ship. It is crazy to think that tomorrow is our embarkation day. So we, we have to get up at like four in order to make it to the lobby at five and check out, eat breakfast, all that stuff. So it is gonna be a crazy day tomorrow, but I'm so excited for this new adventure. So I figured this would be a good spot to pick up where we left off. Embarkation day was filled with so many mixed emotions. I was excited, scared, worried, grateful, happy, and it felt like this really was a physical representation of starting a new chapter of my life. Page flip. I had never even been on a cruise ship before, let alone seen a ship the size of the Disney Dream. Whoa. When we first got on board, we dropped off our bags and we got a tour of the ship. And let me tell you, I thought the ship looked big from the outside. It was even bigger on the inside. Going through crew and guest areas, realizing there's 14 decks on this ship, that there's a forward, a midship, and an aft, and there's all these different pathways to get to all the important spots. Okay, food and restaurants are at the back of the ship, the aft of the ship, and shopping and entertainment is forward, and the atrium is midship. This isn't a cruise ship, this is a maze! <laughs> I'm so dramatic. Anyway, it took me about a week and then I was totally fine and I didn't get lost anymore. And all the seasoned crew members were always really lovely and helped me whenever I got lost. <laughs> Once we were on board, we started what they call a two week crossover. Now I've heard other cruise ships call this install or installment, but here we called a crossover. It's basically the same thing. The old cast gets ready to leave while the new cast takes over the ship with all the entertainment and shows. It was also nice because during our crossover period, we got to stay in guest staterooms. So we kind of got to see where the guests would be staying at. It's been a hot second since I've updated you. I've just been really living through these trainings and adjusting to ship life and familiarizing myself with where everything is and doing a lot of like shadowing shifts for work excited to be staying in the stateroom right now for two weeks and then we will be living in the cabins right away so i'm excited for that transition to finally be able to unpack you know close quarters but i think it's just gonna be nice to finally be able to feel like we're actually like living on the ship, if that makes sense. Once crossover was done, our cast had taken over the ship and we were ready for our opening cruise, yay! It was very magical to be helping create these memories for families and children right into the holiday season. The Disney dream is absolutely stunning in December. It was definitely odd for me usually spending the winter in a cold, cold Canadian winter and now spending it in the sunny Bahamas and I was sweating on Christmas day like what a month in I felt like I was really finding my groove with work Enjoying my time with friends and co-workers and having great interactions with guests during the holiday season And of course the great panini if you will was still upon us We're now to the new COVID outbreaks on cruise ships some ships returning to port after being refused permission to dock at their scheduled stops for us, it never got as bad as being refused to dock and having to return to port, but a certain someone did contract Miss Rona during this time. I will let Jerry of the past tell this tale. I'm in isolation. 
So just to give a time frame of all of this, I was put into this isolation stateroom on December 30th because I was a close contact to a coworker and friend who tested positive and this is actually day three of my isolation. And I don't know if you can hear, but I've been really sick. Day zero, the day I arrived, I was totally fine. I was feeling optimistic. I was feeling great about coming in here. And then day one hit, it was literally New Year's Eve. I started feeling symptoms of just like fatigue and like chills all over my body and this wicked like pressure in my head. I was starting to feel like a tingling in my throat. And then day two, which was yesterday, I felt absolutely awful. I had like a runny nose. I had a horrible cough. And today is day three. And day three, I feel a lot better. For the most part, I am okay. And I'm just happy that I've made it through <laughs> into the new year. <laughs> My symptoms will be okay for the most part during the day, but then at nighttime is where it got like kind of scary because I would wake up in the middle of the night gasping for air and then I couldn't get back to sleep because I was scared that I wouldn't be able to breathe. But yeah, at nighttime, like on day one and day two, it was pretty tough. Like last night, I was not having a great time and it was pretty scary because I was all alone and I haven't really had like a breath of fresh air since last year. <laughs> it's not the way I would have wanted Christmas, my birthday and the new year to go, but the fact that I'm still able to be here for my dream job, even though it's not the most ideal conditions at the moment, I'm still very happy to be here. I just want to get better right away so I can get back out there there. Can I just show you this view? Like, you can't be mad at that. So yeah, let's hang out in isolation together. I wanted to show you my stateroom and I wanted to show you how ridiculous I was when I packed. So we had a little bit of notice to pack for our isolation rooms. I decided to bring like all my snacks and I also was provided with some fruit and other snacks as well. And I've been hoarding cutlery and cups just because it's something to do. Am I going crazy? Anyway, here's my illness station. I was provided with some cold and flu medication and like lozenges. And I had my own stuff that I had packed because if you remember in my packing video, I had the foresight to bring all these things in case I get sick, so. Just different like vitamins and things I like to have when I'm sick. Thank you, past Jerry, for taking care of future Jerry. I appreciate it. And then I just redid the bed because I didn't want to sleep in my old germs. Here's the bathroom. There's just a little cup with salt water in there that I've been gargling, which has really helped. And then over here next door, we have another little bathroom, but this one has like a little bathtub here, which is really cute because it's like a circle. It works well for me because I can fit in it, but if anyone taller tried to take a bath in here, I don't think it would work so well for them. I don't know about you, but I'm having a great time. Oh no, my sock just got wet. I don't like that. Okay, I'm getting out. I am gonna get editing some of this video footage that I've had for a while, but I'm also going to try to move a little bit instead of just sitting all day, but I'm still not feeling great, so I might leave the movement stuff for tomorrow because like my lymph nodes are pretty swollen still. I've been trying to massage them a lot. I have been getting better every day, but it's more just the nighttime that scares me. I just took the rest of the night to just nap and relax and I took another like hot steamy shower and bath and it is hard and I'm trying to allow myself to be sad. It's a bit of a bummer but I kind of want to show both sides of like you know how excited and how amazing everything was just a few weeks ago and then the reality of like we still are in a pandemic working on a cruise ship since we're already here having deep talks with Jerry, I just, um, I want to reiterate that, like, as much as I'm really sad right now, I still want to document this for future Jerry. I think it is, you know, healthy and good to show that not everything will always be magical, even though I am working my dream job and I freaking love it. I know that I'm going to look back on this experience you know, a few months from now, a few years from now, and be like, wow, I did that, I survived that. Like, what in the world did I have to go through? I also know that people all over the world have had to deal with crazy 
stuff because of this pandemic. And I think it's just going to make us stronger human beings. It's going to make us more empathetic towards others. I think we just will be able to understand the human condition better, you know? Maybe that's just crazy isolation thoughts, but that's how I feel at the moment. Okay, so I just arrived at the hotel, which is actually really nice, so I really can't be mad about it. And this is the view to the pool that I can't access or use, but that's all right. I am okay with being in this room for another five days. I wish I really didn't have to, but Things could be worse, so I'm just gonna enjoy this time here and, you know, recharge for when I go back to work. I've been in isolation since December 30th! Eek. Like, I'm just so sick and tired of sitting around doing nothing. Like, I just wanna work so bad. If you can't already tell. <laughs> I just want to return to work so bad and help out my team and just go back to a routine of not just sitting in my bed. You know, things could be worse. I, of course, I'm very grateful that I'm not sick. I'm grateful that I have a beautiful hotel room and all that. Like, I am bored of just sitting here. And honestly, at this point, I have so much time where now I have time to finally give in to this crazy urge that I've had. And I've been really wanting to cut my hair. So like I mentioned yesterday, I want to cut my hair. I've been wanting bangs for a while and I figured may as well just fall into the isolation haircut urge. So I got a little order from Instacart. I got me some... Um hair cutting shears. I really didn't think that my isolation would make me come to this where I just have the impulsive urge to just cut my hair and that I would actually go for it. But you know what? This haircut will be something I remember forever. It'll be a haircut that will go down in the books for me. So <laughs> let's do this. All right, are you ready for the finished product? Keep in mind, I haven't styled it and I haven't showered or anything, but here we are. These are my new bangs. I don't hate it at all. Out of the people I know, my friend Ben and I were the only ones stuck in this whole isolation thing since the new year. So we would video call every day to check in with each other. And we made this silly plan to play bowling together on our final night of isolation to celebrate. Okay, so we've decided that this will be the start of the course. We'll be in line with this and then it'll go all the way down this hallway to go here and hit the bottles. So, should be fun. <laughs> so the rules are, let me just repeat the rules. The rules are each pin is a point and if you get a strike, then that next round is double the points. Correct. Correct, okay. All right. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get that many, but I got some. Let me see. Oh my ten. ten rounds. We're doing ten rounds. Okay, so we're on round one. Ben has four, and I have four. Amazing. All right, round two start. I'm ready. Okay, ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one. Oh no! My orange is not very round. It's getting, my orange is getting really like oval. again but see you keep getting consistent high numbers three two one nice oh my god are you kidding i got a strike on that one ben got 163 and i got 132 so not too horrible but 
could have done better. I'm just not used to playing bowling with oranges. <laughs> well, well, well. I tested negative and I finally get to get out. After a long two weeks, as you can see, it has been a very emotional roller coaster this isolation period, but I am just so happy that I'm healthy now and that I hope to finish this contract strong and yeah. Here's to the rest of 2022. Woo! What an experience! I'll never forget this period of my life where I was so bored that I played bowling with a leftover orange and water bottles I collected. But in all seriousness, being isolated for so long really gave me a lot of time to reflect and figure out what I really value in my life and what I want out of it. And I was just really eager to return to work. My lungs definitely took a massive hit and I had to rebuild that stamina that I previously had. But moving forward for the rest of contract, I felt like I had a lot more gratitude for every opportunity that came along. So in a way, I'm very thankful for that experience, though unexpected. I feel like it taught me some valuable lessons. Up until March, I had a pretty steady routine until we finally got shore leave back. Yes! Woo! Shore leave meaning crew members being allowed off the ship during their break time to do whatever they'd like, like shopping, getting food, whatever. And it just kind of breaks up the time being on a ship for so long. And that way you're able to enjoy whatever port we're docked at that day, as long as you just make sure you're back for work at your all aboard time. Our only stops with the dream were Nassau in the Bahamas and Castaway Key. Later on in my contract, we actually switched home ports to Miami, Florida. And that meant that our itinerary also changed. So along with Castaway Key and Nassau, we would also visit Cozumel, Mexico, and Georgetown Grand Cayman, woo! So beautiful, I loved all the islands that we visited. I would have never had the chance to visit these places if it wasn't for working on a cruise ship. So that was pretty cool. And while it's definitely not a vacation because you're there to work, it was very neat to just be able to go to the beach on my lunch break. Still in March, we were rehearsing for some of the shows that we were able to finally put up in April. Another huge highlight of my contract. The Disney Dream was the first within the fleet to reopen Sailing Away and Mickey's Pirates of the Caribbean. We also got to open the Golden Mickey's award style show in the Walt Disney Theater as well. I'm so proud of my cast for being able to rehearse for these shows while also working a full workload. It was a very busy time. If you ever wanna work for cruise ships, let me give you this this piece of advice. The people you surround yourself with are everything. I have met some of the best friends working with them in my cast. It was absolutely amazing to meet people from other countries and cultures from around the world, especially after having been stuck at home for two years. Working on cruise ships is definitely not for everyone. I've always been a busybody, so cruise ship life kind of just makes sense for me with how busy the workload is, but it's just so hard to describe. Like, I think that this job is is just unlike any other and I'm so grateful to be in a position where I get to have such an impact on families and children that are on vacations. To see families from all different parts of the world come together and be on this cruise ship where we're all sharing that same nostalgia and love for Disney, it was very heartwarming and very fulfilling to see so many special moments at my work every day. It always makes me laugh the way kids react when they see Mickey Mouse for the first time. They are just so in awe and they're just like calling his name and they can't stop waving and their parent is trying to keep going but they're still waving and they're still like smiling and it's just, <sighs> there isn't a better feeling. Just, just their sparkle in their little eyes. <laughs> And I'm not gonna apologize if this video is very cheesy because <laughs> I just get very sentimental over working for Disney. Obviously, Disney holds such a special place in my heart. I just am so shocked and amazed that I was able to have this opportunity. And like any job, of course, there's gonna be a roller coaster of things that happen and emotions, but overall, I'm just so grateful. Grateful is just the word that comes to mind a lot, so yeah. <laughs>
Thanks for tuning in. If you're interested in cruise ship life content, I will be trying to post a little more coming up. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions. And yeah, I'll catch you later. Have a good one. so happy.